Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be playing as a fish. The goal, to survive 100 days in hardcore. Some challenges are that we barely have any health, and our appetite is cursed. No, seriously, sometimes a single piece of bread will saturate you for days. And we can only breathe underwater. Will we survive all 100 days? Watch till the end to find out. And of course, smash the like button to beat the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to subscribe with post notifications on, because according to my YouTube analytics, a lot of you guys aren't. And with that said, let's do this. And here goes nothing, boys. World name, Fishy. And then we gotta change this to hardcore. And so it began. The world loaded and I was a fish. And then I quickly realized. One days. Oh, there's a frick. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Water. 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 Oh! Yup. I literally almost died and we just started the series. I'm a fish in hardcore. I almost died like four seconds in. At this point, guys, I realized just how hard this was gonna be, especially getting wood. So I made a run for it. I went for this birch tree and I barely managed to get one log and I made it back and almost died. Any of you thought that was insane? Well, I did it again, buddy. Barely survived, but it's cool. Just a fish mining cobblestone. Nothing, you know, nothing weird here going on. <laughs> I decided it was a smart idea to use the wood in order Bruh. just to create your basic stone tools, and I almost died by crafting. I still needed more wood, so I decided to come up with this little strategy and let the water flow out. That way, I could just eat myself to a tree and actually make it on time, you know, not so close to death. I then decided to just bridge up just to kind of get a good idea of where I am. I managed to get a good look on the village that was nearby. I almost ran out of breath and died again. Because there wasn't any water near the village, I decided, screw that, and I had headed to the nearest water pool where I made a small tunnel that led water into a giant ravine. Got me some iron. I made a hole. Crafted furnace. Smelt iron. Made the bucket. Tried to make a shield, but I failed. And I got jumped by a zombie, which I beat the crap out of him. I get wrecked by a fish, idiot. I needed food and more wood for a shield, so I said, screw it, and I'm going to the village. Which I realized was instantly a mistake because no, 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 a creeper no, wanted my no, toes. No, 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 no. So I made a panic hole, but we did it. We survived our first night, which now made it day one where I basically just terrorized the entire village. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got some flint steel and decided yes. to no longer be the prey, but actually start hunting down animals myself as a fish. The day was over. When I went to sleep, I almost died because, you know, I don't sleep with water and I'm a fish. I need water to breathe. Okay, yeah. I started day two just grabbing some wood. I even tried to tame a horse as a fish. Yeah, it was really weird. What is happening? He was my first friend, so I made him a hole and I told him I would come back in the future and I wouldn't forget him. <laughs> I then yeeted back into the ravine that we found before and just literally went mining. I almost died, which was kind of crazy. I got ambushed a little bit, had to, you know, juke some mobs, but it's fine because we found a bunch of cheese and iron and, it, and things were great. Day three started and I basically just mined a bunch of iron until I found my first minecart chest and got a golden apple. I was so happy. But then I got cornered by a bunch of zombies and I had to use some invasive, invasive, I don't know the word. I don't, okay, I'm just gonna shut up. Invasive maneuvers to actually counter attack. I continued the adventure where I found a Another mine shaft chest, this time with a diamond in it, which was crazy. Yo, first diamond we found through a chest. I didn't even, what? I also found a mob spawner, which gave me a lot of trouble to take down. But uh, at some oh. point, I accidentally made a mob grinder somehow as a fish. It was kind of funny, but I still broke the spawner nonetheless. I then created a small little base, my fishy headquarters, just so that I could smelt my stuff in peace and just be genuinely safe. As day five began, I crafted a full set of iron armor. And finally, by day six, I went back to the surface just to find myself with the an obsidian portal ruin thingy. Chest. Ooh. Later that day, I came up with a plan. Okay, yeah, I think my goal as a flopping little bubbly boy is I want to find an ocean. I spent the rest of day six and the rest of seven on our journey to find the ocean. On day eight, I found another ruined portal, but this one was buildable. However, I quickly found out that the nether was something I did not want to mess with. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my bruh, no, 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 no. Day nine was a little scary, but I managed to find the ocean. Let's go. My home habitat. I quickly realized that the ocean was not something to mess with because I was ambushed by a bunch of drowned. I actually killed one and it dropped the trident. Oh! I don't know how rare that is, but I was really happy nonetheless. And then I found a little ruined ship, which I honestly thought was so cute. I looted it and I decided to just fix it up and stay there. As day 10 hit, I spent time just touching up my new home as well as just exploring the area. I actually continued my adventure through day 11, which I found diamonds for the first time, like the ore, not just in a chest. On day 12, I finally made it back home. And on day 13, I decided it was time to make kind of like a landmark for my base because I realized it would be really easy to get lost in this giant ocean. So I made dirt tower. I almost died making it. 
On day 14, I did more ravine mining only to find way more diamonds. I knew I had to do this for the next couple days. And so I did. On day 15, I found another temple. On day 16, we got lucky again with more diamonds. Oh my. On 17, I developed new strategies. Mining with doors. Because, you know, air pockets, even though it's dangerous, I can just break things quicker. On the 18th day, I actually found myself my first buried treasure. As well as another boat containing another buried treasure and more loot, of course. Day 19 came along and nothing really changed. I just kept mining gold with my diamond pickaxe, by the way. Until this happened. What? No. Yeah, I had to find a cow on some random island, drink the milk, and then just eat back over. On day 20, I found Nemo. And on day 21, it was a really close call. Oh. <gasps> And after days of not finding anything, finally on day 24, we found some more diamonds. I almost died, but listen, we're not gonna talk about that. On day 25, I decided the mining adventure was over, man. Day 26 is when things got interesting. I decided I'm too big of a fish for this little stupid place that I was living at. And if I wanted to build a new one, I needed materials, specifically clay. Lots and lots of freaking clay. Oh. And in order to smell all that clay on day 33, I decided to spend the entire day mining coal. That sounds like a lot of fun, not. Don't judge me, but I spent day 34 and 35 waiting for my stuff to smell. I was watching too much anime. <sighs> okay, yep, I watched way too much anime. Day 36, 37, and 38, I just spent collecting a bunch of flour, smelting stuff, and crafting our new dyed clay blocks. Now that we had our materials on day 39, I decided to find a place to build our new house slash base thingy. On day 40, the building commenced. I had the perfect place, and honestly, I really did YOLO this build. Like, I genuinely had no idea what I was really going for. All I knew is that I had a bunch of clay, and that this was gonna be my underwater base. I didn't stop building until I realized I needed some sand and coal to smelt the sand for glass. Okay, and now we wait. Yay. By day 45, I got all the glass I needed, and on day 46 through 47, I continued building, finishing up some minor details, like the windows and the floor and blah, 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 blah. And finally, by day 48, I had finished. This is the new crib. I made everything kind of like 3D, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. This is some sort of architectural thing I thought of. Day 49 was moving day, which honestly, let's just say underestimate how much stuff I had, because it lasted all the way to day 50. Day 51, I decided it was time to find the buried treasure maps, because we have like three. A little embarrassing fact here, I actually have never done these before, so I had no idea what I was doing. And for the next couple days, guys, I kept hunting until I finally found the treasure, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed. But it's fine, because on day 54, I found oh, a diamond, oh, oh. which made it worth it. To diamond! Be and on day 55, same thing, another diamond! Finally made it back home by day 56, and by day 57, I knew it was time to enchant, so I had to go down and get some obsidian. Have you ever seen a freaking fishy boy? Mine obsidian? Yeah. Made the enchant table. By day 58, we began enchanting, which I quickly realized all the enchants were doo-doo, so I just had to go with level one enchants. Day 59 was kind of boring because I spent the whole day getting materials, but by day 60, we finally got to use those materials, which I basically just wanted to build a farm just so I could get some more food. But now that I had some more food, by day 65, I knew it was time to head to the nether. Finally found my first lava pool, and by day 66, the portal was ready, but I didn't have a flint seal. It was kind of a dirt moment, so I needed to go find some flint, which is when I found a random village. I defended it and decided to stay the night until day 67 where I tried to see if water cauldrons would work, but no, they didn't. So I knew I had to think of something to survive in the nether. Day 68, I said YOLO and I went inside the portal. I needed to spawn inside of another fortress because if not, then I wasn't going to be able to survive in time to do nearly anything. So in search for another lava pool, I actually came across this enderman, which I managed to destroy easily. And I got a grass block. By day 69, I, I made uh, two cows and made babies because that's what you do on day 69, make babies. Yay, day 69. Day 71, I found a forest of flowers, which I was still grabbing as much as I can on day 72. Day 75, I tried to hunt a polar bear, but ended up just running away. And finally, day 76, I have found what I was looking for, a new lava pool. And honestly, guys, I was not expecting this, but when I went inside the portal, I found myself inside of a fortune. It's like, no, I didn't. It wasn't until day 77 where I found a ruin that was easily buildable. So once I made the portal, I went inside, and there you go, I found what oh I God. needed, the oh nether God. fortress. Oh However, I still didn't have enough oxygen as a fish to actually survive. In it, so I decided to head back, which on my way back on day 78, I found another ruin. This time inside of the chest, I got a respiration three helmet. I tested on day 79 and to my surprise, it was more than perfect. I could breathe outside of water for way longer. Oh my God, my first bubble just now popped. Are you kidding me? On day 80, I came straight back to the portal, honestly, to test it and it worked out amazingly. I was able to survive long enough to kill a couple blazes, but I still played it safe by going back in and out, taking my time in day 81. And it wasn't until day 82 that I finally got my first blaze rod. By day 84, I was a pro. I had the roots set. I had the perfect path just to kill all the blazes that I needed.
which I was still grinding even in day 87. The blazes didn't even spawn half the time, just like I'm showing in day 91. Day 92, I almost got caught lacking, but don't worry, boys. I used my big brain to defeat these three nerds, which actually I still almost died. I almost ran out of oxygen, but it's good. I'm, I'm still alive and we're still thriving. By day 93, we had collected all the blaze powder, which I had not noticed until then. I have enough. By day 94, we began the trading. I quickly realized I didn't have enough gold, so I had to come all the way back home on day 95. And on the way back to the portal, I killed an enemy that dropped a pearl. By day 96, I made it back and I was already trading, which my luck was terrible, by the way, because it wasn't until day 98 where I got my first pearl trade. But not just once, but twice, baby. Honestly, it took so long to get those pearls, I decided just to head back. I fixed my helmet. And by day 100, oh man. I was basically so tired. <laughs> Oh, I've worn the same shirt days in a row. Oh, God. Yep, I was a stinky boy. Like and subscribe.